if your partner sees something magical in something, always look and try to find it as well, or at least acknowledge that they're trying to find that. Yeah. We're fucked. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not. Let's go home. When I received my Lumi deodorant, I was a little doubtful given it's aluminum free formulation. I feel like anytime you see aluminum free, you usually just like associated with just not working. With temperatures rising in LA, I've previously experimented with other aluminum free alternatives and it just, it just, it's not, it's not it. It's not it. No, I can confirm it doesn't work for it's you. It's not it. Yeah. It's not it. However, Lumi is a game changer. Lumi starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes and free shipping. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code WILD at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit Lumi deodorant and use code WILD. <laughs> Welcome back to Wild Till Nine! Whoa! Everybody! Oh my God! Go ahead, go ahead and so interrupt. Why did you guys have a start doing a studio audience? <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, I see some familiar faces. Weird that it's only white people. Is that like a rule? <laughs> oh God! Oh wait, no, I see somebody. No, nope. it's actually Lauren's request. <laughs> really, Damn. Lauren? Damn. Okay, so anyways, uh, the boys from <laughs> Dropouts are back. We've got Jared Bailey and Zach Justice. That's only allegedly. Um, and I typically have an introduction prepared for everyone, all of our guests, but one, you guys are returning and two, I have your full dating profiles and I feel like it can't get any more intimate than that. And I was so, so scared to get <laughs> that to you. Good boy. Like, I'm just, I know we're going to get roasted alive. And what? you're going to tell me everything that's wrong with me. I just, I just can't believe how compliant you both were. I'm not kidding. I was like, could I have your dating profiles? And then Zach had screen recorded and sent his within 60 Sorry, seconds. I already he had already, my screen yeah. recorded. I was just ready to go. <laughs> you know? And then Jared, you read. Okay. okay. First, I feel like, so what's, what's, what's happening? Yeah, what's you new with the love lives? You just in there. No the, lube um... whatsoever. Hi guys. It's good to see you. <laughs> Thank you for having you. us on your show the other week. It's good to see you again. What's new? I'm Zach <laughs> Justice. Allegedly. Okay, uh, for audio listeners, there's a dog currently lying on me. Diggo. Thank you for using the proper grammar, Zach Justice. <laughs> and uh, he is- Is snoozing. Wow. And Almost asleep. Adorable. He will be asleep in, in, in sec. This is his dream. So Diggy has joined us. These couches are made for about one and a half people, and mm -hmm. we've got two full grown men and, and a dog. And a dog. <laughs> I consider myself a small boy. Yeah. That sounds Especially like CBS's when I'm new priests. sitcom. What? Oh my God, this is why. You don't make money on well, the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what? What if we just went to commercial break every time Zach said something to Oh, you guys would be. Oh, are we, you trying to throw it in our face that we don't get ads? <laughs> guys? I just think that maybe there might be a direct correlation to the lack of I, income I versus heard the... Ad. What? That's whatever. The other day. Did you from theirs? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Wow. It, it was kind of funny because my mom doesn't understand... You know, on Spotify, they just like can throw ads in there mm -hmm. from any company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, my entire life, she's like, if you ever become successful, she's not Southern. If you, ever, <laughs> if you ever become successful, I want you to buy me a Volvo. And I'm like, okay, mom. That sounds I way will. too close to Volvo. <laughs> oh, yes. And that is, I've never seen one. That makes sense. That checks out. I've seen that one, though, from I've afar. Actually, like, seen, <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know if I've ever like registered. Oh, the Volvo. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Let me paint this That's from memory. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. This dog looks like a Volvo a little bit. You had a story from the snout down. She wants a Volvo. She wants a Volvo. And in our Spotify or in our, in one of our episodes, there was just an ad for Volvo in there that they just put in. And she got very mad. She's like, he was you guys got sponsored pissed. by Volvo and you didn't even blah, blah, blah. I was like, first of all, didn't know we did. And second of all, we got paid maybe 14 cents for it. I was like, but also what a crazy request. She's like, you're sponsored and you didn't ask them for a whole car. For a whole car? <laughs> you think I have David Dobrik out here? Yeah. Damn. I, I hate soon. to break it to people when, when they like, call that out and like, well, it's a Volvo ad because you look at Volvo. Also, you were the yeah. target. I know. Oh, it's always so fun. People will be point. like, oh my God, why do yeah. you have such crazy, like harsh ads in a certain political view? And I'm like, well, unfortunately, <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but Ask that is- Ask your dad is. who's searching for yeah. it on your computer. Jared wanted to get t-shirts made that said abortion survivor. Okay. And I just thought that was a little what rough and tough. Like oh, a, a, a calculated- um, send? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you're actually the exact option. You were an expensive know. science experiment. I was formulated in a lab. I wonder how much you it know? cost, like start to finish. That's a good point. My mom had to go seven times, and I don't know exactly how much it cost each time because it's, yeah, it took You think seven. it's like a per per appointment visit, like going tanning? We yeah. we have a one gay couple front. What'd oh. you say? Well, I mean, all the times <laughs> she's been artificially inseminated. 
Think of all the random men that she's had up her in a week span. Well, it was all the same man. Uh, it was all the same specimen. Oh, it was? Yeah. So it was just your daddy? Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> she's a oh, oh, he just bit your nose. I, I saw it. <laughs> Diggy goes really quickly from little kisses to nibbles and... You know, I, that's okay. I, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So speaking it's of never invites, teach you not to use teeth. It's never as fun. <laughs> yeah, but speaking of invites that were turned down, I actually want to thank you for not turning down the invite to our engagement party. But yeah, walk us that through. Justice just fully. Walk us through what what event was so important that it took you away from attending. First of all, you got an invite and I didn't. Okay, okay Jared, we're gonna, we're gonna bring crazy. That. We'll get to that. Can I bring something <laughs> up? Jared, you're at the wedding. Zach, you're out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to bring something up. I didn't realize you guys had one. Okay. Go on. You RSVP'd, yes. When was it? <laughs> you RSVP'd in and you February. didn't show up? Well, here's the thing. There's oh, a, it was in February? Yeah, so there was one. I thought it was like coming up. There's one person that was invited that, that didn't make their appearance. One. That was, no, that, that sounds like you. you. Of all it the people sounds, that were invited, it was, it was one. I need to be completely honest. Yeah, go ahead. I didn't know what happened. Okay, fair. How was it? <laughs> <laughs> Eventful? And I will say I RSVP'd. <laughs> Probably. That, no, that sounds like me. Take that part back. That's not helping anything. That's Yeah, that actually, I think that actually makes it worse. Uh, anyway, right, Jared, so you're in. Yeah, yeah, All Jared, good. Yeah, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Zach, you're oh, in. I wasn't invited. What? Huh? So well, like now I'm really invited right. to the wedding. Yeah, we can't be your birthday, though. That's cool. How close was your birthday to the engagement thing? Uh, Monthfish. Okay, yeah, so I thought it was, I thought I probably thought it was the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, okay. You know, As someone who doesn't like to attend things... I get it. I like to attend things. That's the wild part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. For someone who like doesn't really drink and like get fucked up, like you're wildly social in the LA scene amongst people who get really fucked well, up. No, since since we've since he's been on the pod, he's been there. <gasps> so much has happened since you guys have last been here. Yeah. So much Let's has bring happened. It up. Where do we even start? I see. I'm beginning. Uh, <laughs> Zach met his dad. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Zach reunited with his dad. Okay. Okay. You, you don't have to watch your mouth okay. anymore. <laughs> so this is what happened. Um, straight to camera, I assume. Remy, listen. Uh, <laughs> basically, growing up, my mom and dad got divorced at two years old. <laughs> Tragic. I, I didn't. I didn't have you know much of a male figure in my life for quite some time. Um, a lot of times, he was overseas, military, or you know, he was he was busy with the life. Didn't fault him on that. As almost Fourth of July. Thanks for your service. Um, he didn't fight in the American Revolution, but yeah, that's. I feel like it's something similar. Vintage. <laughs> um, and then, you know, we we kind of got a little distant. I, I had noticed traits of maybe depression in his oh. soul. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah. I've I've suffered something similar in the past. So I gave him a call and I said, I said, Dad, why don't why don't we just kind of forget everything? Um, he and, already had. And, and start, <laughs> first of all, just my name and start new. And uh, when is this? Can we get, a, can we get like a timeline here? Like this help, was, us, help us pin this This was down. October. Oh, okay. recently. Okay. Okay. Of 2022. Correct. Okay. And I said, all right, let's try to call each other maybe once every, you know, two weeks or so. Oh, you gave him like a, a, like a plan. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, Got and, and he was like, I, you know, what? I needed this wake up call. Thank yeah. you. And then, um, I, I had him come out here to visit us. Don't wink at me. And uh, he me. got to go to the live show and I made absentee dad jokes and he <laughs> laughed. And yep. I don't think he, he did laugh. He did. He did laugh outwardly. Outwardly. Okay. Yeah. Um, where were you at the live show? Uh, I bought a ticket. I thought you RV, RSVP'd. So I bought, <laughs> purchased a ticket gotcha. the, the day it came out That's to the make part sure that, matters. that you are supported. Yeah. And I specifically remember that night probably being able to go, mm. but choosing not to. Okay. okay. So it's it wasn't like I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was happening and I decided not to go. It's just weird that you called me out for something and then you'd done something mm. similar. Yeah, Hypocrite but, is a word. In in his in his defense, and I he did pretending. he did buy a ticket, so he still supported I, I right, RSVP. Right. You know, yeah, but that doesn't bring them any benefit if, if you don't show up. In fact, it just took right. away from someone else being able to it, it, go ahead. Like Jerry, yeah, yeah, a, or des Remy. a deserving friend. Oh, was Remy yeah. there? She was uh, on set. Remy was on okay. Set, yeah. oh, so exactly. <gasps> Digo, oh, how much going? hair do you have on your body? All of it. Yeah, I have, we could make a new diggy off of the. Are we part. sponsored by Manscaped? Wait, because no. we should be. <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> not sure. Well, uh, was it? So, what's what, where are we at with the dad? Um, you know, we we've been speaking relatively more often. I think he had a good time. I brought him to a, a, a lot of nice, you know, little places. I was I was filming a part in a in a movie while he was here, so we got to see set. Subtle flex. He got to see uh, the yeah, the yeah. show. 
Yeah, I wasn't too subtle. I said it. I'm pretty almost straight to camera. Do you, like, do you like introduce people? This is my dad or? Um, I say father figure. Do you call him dad or do you call him by his first name? I usually add a D-Y at the end and I say it in a high-pitched voice. Mm. Can I get an example? Daddy? <laughs> Whoa, with a little breath at the end. Maybe that's yeah. why he left. Could be. Definitely why he left. Could be. Are you guys on the fence about incest or have you picked a side? What's funny is we've only talked about incest in the form of like step um, children before. And it was shocking how many people were like, yeah, but it's not blood. It's not blood. I've never had someone just quite look defensive me on and grab, grab two eyeballs and just go, it's not like, it's different. We're not actually related. It's just my stepsister. And I- But I, it's still weird. I just, I can't imagine introducing my stepsister as my Significant other? Uh-uh. In a public never. setting and going, no, 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 it's just step. So it's, oh, it's okay, like our parents and us were, anyway, maybe I'm out, maybe I'm out on this one. I don't know. I like my bed to have the same um, slogan as Olive Garden when you're here, your family. That's the Southern Georgia in you. <laughs> yes, sir. I, say, I, I can't. Roll I can't. Tide, take a bow. And we wonder why they said no to going on your podcast. <laughs> Go dogs. Um, okay, there's that. <laughs> so are you trying to be like buddies or is this like a father-son bonding relationship With that Remy? you're building? I think, <laughs> uh, you know, I... Maybe it's more of a buddy. I think a buddy because you guys are both like full grown adults. I feel like once you're on a equal financial plane, yeah, yeah, with, yeah, yeah. with the person that spreads seed, it's more of a friendship when it comes My to fatherhood. God. So you guys went into financials immediately, or like let's talk about our our, our tax returns from what last year, last five. What are we looking at? We brought out a spreadsheet. Okay, good. Okay, mm -hmm. and then he. No, I shouldn't say. That. Wait, do you uh, do you have siblings by like by your dad that you don't? Correct. Know? I do. Well, probably. Got it. He did spend quite a few um, decades in Guam. And, you know, oh yeah, definitely. Exactly. So There's some little the justices around running around. Guam. Sorry, this is a bastard conversation. You guys just hold on for a second. Um, I also well, don't know similar. my father and I was born out of wedlock. Ooh, so. come on in. Welcome wow. to the conversation. Lauren, if you want to hop out for 30. Yeah, I will just sit only. here I mean, and listen. Do you care about your half siblings? And I and I ask because I'm trying to figure it out myself. No. I do. I, um, I treat my half siblings as if they're my real siblings or my full siblings. And I always have. Um, I think that's because I've only had half. Um, and The Half-Blooded Prince is my favorite book of the Harry Potter series. <laughs> I love so. this trauma bonding for Deep you guys. Deep cut, Jared? Um, well, I don't know any of my half siblings. Have you met them? Uh, no. God, do you know they exist? I do know they exist. Okay. Because I, I took the 23 and me, yeah, and I think I found three. like five or six. Wow. Yeah. I found one on Instagram. Um, Make sure to subscribe to the Dropouts podcast. <laughs> Uh, and then there's another one that reached out, but we're just like two totally, completely different people. Got and yeah. so we just didn't really like jive and that's fine. Like, Do you see any similarity in appearance? Uh, the one I found on Instagram looks very, like we look very similar, which is Whoa. confusing because I look almost identical to my mom. Right, you're right. And so. Smash. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, to answer your question, I don't really have any feelings yeah. towards my half siblings. All right. I feel better about that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can start the podcast now. We met, uh, <laughs> uh, so went to dinner with Jeremy's half siblings as well. And the one who Hot. would have been like 13 years old, the boy. Oh, Jared, mm. put a Zach, pillow Zach, over Zach, your this lap. is where you say pass. This is where you say pass. Go ahead. Depends on the state. Don't right? say that. Go ahead. Damn it. Pass. Okay. Good job. Um, and it was literally a mini Jeremy. He turned to me at the table and he was like, so how do you feel like the state of the algorithm is right now on YouTube? Shut are you being, up. are you being affected by the uh, creator demonetization? And I was like, well, are you? I was like, what the fuck? Little mini Jeremy. I was like, can you not? I was like, that was terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I broke my neck to the right. I was like, who the fuck? It was so saying? crazy. It was so crazy. We're starting to do this segment whenever we go on other people's podcasts, um, it's called, how much money do you make? That's our, <laughs> that's our jingle. So you guys say into the mic and then we'll, we'll go wow or oh, okay. okay. Depending we'll on go what you say. Pass. Okay. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I have no idea. I have no idea. I hate liars. I hate <laughs> thieves. I hate anyone that disobeys the 10 commandments. Um, <laughs> Gun to my head, I actually couldn't tell I, you. I genuinely don't know. Within a pretty Which wide is range. A, I just want to be very clear. Like, that is a place of, pl of privilege that like to not oh, have to keep tabs on my finances the way that I did when I was in, you know, my first year of university. Uh -huh. But like- oh, don't try to backtrack. We're all <laughs> filthy rich here. Okay, Let's fine. talk about it. $18,000 oh. a year. Next. Let's talk about why the 1% is better. <laughs> Who wants uh, to go first? And you Probably are the one that's wondering, in the hey, also, did you know that um, Remy was actually Ratatouille for Halloween one year? Makes sense. Kind of low hanging fruit. Okay. <laughs> Damn. 
Mm. Yeah, well, I've got beef now. Yeah, you Remy think I'm just gonna... Yeah, you're so right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Also, how do you know that it wasn't Alicia that said no and not Remy? Because Alicia is a great singer and she doesn't wear makeup to promote women. What? I think you have the wrong Alicia. Is that Keys? Um, Are you thinking of... <laughs> Uh, I don't know who Alicia is, and I barely know who Remy is, but I do have beef. How the fuck did you get Ray Romano on your podcast? <laughs> oh, here That's we a go. Great question, isn't it? Um, friend of a friend. Mm -hmm. That you got excited so what to about tell that? me that. Uh, okay. It was an awful story. It'd make one up. Okay, so there's just story. make one up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we ran into him at uh, Sprouts or whatever. And there's this man named Tom, and Tom and I, I'm helping out him out with his children's TV show on PBS. Okay. And he is best friends with Ray Romano. Wait, 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 wait. You're working on a children's show? On a children's show. I said, do show? we feel like, I feel like I need to alert someone. No, As no, 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 no. I would yeah. never do touch a Do you have to like, like go walk around to all the offices when you show up for the first day and like let them know you're there? No. Okay. Legally. Okay. <laughs> yes. But I don't. Okay. No. But I do, I, I do want to get this out there. Um, I've said this on our podcast, but one of the creepiest things to say out loud is my oh. favorite thing to do is watch children from afar. So mm. you're like on a playground and there's no sexual thing with this. I just really enjoy um, youth and and innocence. And Too much. Like I genuinely do. Like they, they still have their imagination. Like life still has magic to it. I find it very beautiful. Um, so creating stuff where, where human beings still can have a little magic in their eyes means a lot to me. But I'm helping this guy out with his TV show. Him and Ray were roommates when they first moved to L.A., uh, been friends for years. He was a writer on um, uh, Everybody Loves Raymond. Um, and then he was like, hey, I want you to come to screening of Ray's new movie. I think you'll really like it. And met Ray there. And uh, he, you know, we talked about promoting the the movie on our podcast. And yeah. Yeah. Did you prepare for that podcast more than you did when we came on your podcast? No. Okay. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I've still only seen the pilot of Everybody Loves Raymond. I don't think I've yeah. seen a single episode but of like, on this right now. Uh, he's what is he on the that HBO show we love? We oh um the the like the AI he's, yeah, he's the dude one. That fucks Did you watch the, that? Um, um, he's he's the no. fuck me silly two, right? The, yeah. the doll. Um, he's uh, in three of my favorite movies. Paddleton, not the one with the bear, is one of my favorite movies ever. It's Paddington. Don't get it fucking twisted. No, nope. <laughs> Paddleton. Damn. It's I just said it's the one without the bear. Yeah, but it, no one would be confused because his name is Paddington. No, everyone gets confused. When I say, oh, everybody I does get confused. I, I say Paddleton and they'll be like, oh, Paddington. And I say, no. That's one. Um, <laughs> you need to watch your mouth. The Big Sick. <laughs> okay, that's a great show. And I like his new one, Somewhere in Queens. It's yeah. really good movies. But we're not to promote him. He's got the tip out. Do you tell anybody? No. <laughs> okay. No, that's okay. okay. That's again where you now say. Smash. I'm interested. No, I'll try again. Double, I double, double smash. <laughs> one more time. All of us smashing your dog. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're really moving on now. Talk about on. This okay, so you had Ray Ramon on the podcast. That's exciting. That's new. We've established our our relationship with our father. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, Jared, we discovered that you had a tendency to kind of do a little bit of love bombing slash like being a victim of love bombing and just like generally loving love. I do love love. I love it a lot. And okay, sometimes but too much. You, when I asked you for your dating profile, you had to re-download the app. Ooh. Yes. Do you want to explain why? Because he's getting <laughs> his rocks off. Okay. Well, so I deleted it before I started um, talking to this individuals. Don't touch me. Um, <laughs> we should have the plexiglass up for this episode. Oh, yes, definitely. seriously. You guys do need a divider. Um, Is COVID I, back? <laughs> I deleted it because... Uh, so this one is also on Hinge. Uh -huh. And how many um, likes do you have? Like, you know how you can see the number of people that have liked you and oh. you can kind of comb through. Sure, we have been in yeah, a relationship no, we've been, for, yeah, like, for almost five years okay. now. Yeah, it's well, been a three time. lifetimes. On Hinge, you... It, it, when I had Hinge, you just... You, you it was like a, it. A, it was still swiping left and right. Yeah, there's three oh, options. You, yeah. you swiped on Hinge at one point? I had no Wasn't idea. it? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you didn't swipe, but it, it, it was still like that yeah. kind of. Yeah. Um, but you can. The marriage hasn't happened yet, though. Why, why would you guys also, delete the apps? You're not going to get an invite. So how do you know the marriage hasn't happened? Oh, that's a good point. I mean, I'm going to be fine either way. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that was tonight. I um, I mean, if there is an extra spot, I would go to the wedding. Well, <laughs> we'll send you the ticket form. I'll spend, I'll pay for it, and he'll he'll fill it out. Can you imagine, like like for the plate? It's like people, people that really aren't invited, but we have to hit, a, like, hit a quota. Yeah, Where's it at? Quota. Um, wouldn't you like to? Well, actually, it's in Simi Valley. It's we, in we've Hummingbird that. Nest Ranch. Oh, oh, the one in Simi Valley. I don't know what that looks like, but it sounds nice. It's cool. Doesn't nice. suck, Jared. Doesn't <laughs> suck. <laughs> 
so you deleted the app because. Oh, how many like people have liked you on the app? So it shows you profile likes. Yeah. Over And is that a public number? Not public. It's not public, but like. You can see it. How many, how I many people, know, just say it. He wants to talk about it, doesn't he? Yeah, he wants to. He, totally. oh, yeah. yeah, I know. Why would I want to talk about this? It's embarrassing. 828. 828 people wow. have liked his profile and he could There's potentially- There's 4 million people in LA. He could potentially the ratio. Them. But I deleted it because I would hear numbers like that and I would have zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I was so sad. Yeah, but Jared, you're casting a, a more niche net. You you uh -huh. know what you're looking for, okay? Yes, exactly. You're not, you're not just going, anybody who's got a fucking pulse. Want to revamp your freshness routine this summer? Our standard deodorants falling short in the face of relentless heat. It is literally, it is, it is unbearably hot in LA right now because let's face it, it is not just about the underarms anymore. Gear up for an all over transformation with Lumi whole body deodorant formulated for underarms, sensitive zones, and everywhere else that the heat hits. Lumi was created by an OBGYN who saw firsthand how normal BO was being misdiagnosed and mistreated. It is clinically proven to block and control odor all day for up to 72 hours. Unlike some deodorants that try to mask odor with a fragrance, Lumi is formulated and powered by mandelic acid to stop odor before it starts more like a pre-odorant. You get it? That's good. Yeah, thank pre you. Pre-odorant. Lumi is aluminum, baking soda, and paraben-free. It's also pH balanced for safe use below the belt. Choose from a variety of fresh, bright scents like clean tangerine, lavender sage, or toasted coconut, a personal favorite. Babe, you want to toast those coconuts? I'm a big toasted coconut <laughs> fan. And we have a special offer for our listeners. New customers get $5 off Lumi's starter pack with code WILD at Lumi deodorant.com. When I received my Lumi deodorant, I was a little doubtful given it's aluminum free formulation. I feel like anytime you see aluminum free, you usually just like associated with just not working. With temperatures rising in LA, I've previously experimented with other aluminum free alternatives and it just, it just, it's not, it's not it. It's not it. No, I can confirm it doesn't work for it's you. It's not it. Yeah. It's not it. However, Lumi is a game changer. Their claim of offering 72 hours of odor protection isn't just a marketing gimmick. The toasted coconut, even though I don't have, I guess I have my own coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> is by far my favorite. I've since become a loyal Lumi user and there is no going back. Lumi starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes and free shipping. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code WILD at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit Lumi deodorant and use code WILD. So we, we chose Hinge, right? We chose Hinge. Yep. And mm -hmm. it, it does give you the most info. It does. What I remember. It does. And that's what the people are using nowadays. Yeah. Tinder, yeah. Tinder's defined a whole. Give me in a, a top or, or, or worst five ranked by, by, by your well, own metrics. What does that, what do you, oh, so the, like Tinder, dating Bumble, apps. Raya, yeah. I don't really use Tinder any. is the worst. Okay. Now. Agreed. The worst? Yeah, because it's only, if you go on there, it's just girls selling their OnlyFans. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Huh. Things have changed. Okay. Okay. And then? Um, I think well, that's like I really, marketing. I really, I don't think I have a top five or whatever list. I, I think I, that, I've only used three. Um, Bumble is like Hinge now where you can just send the heart and it makes it so that it, the conversation starts. So the girl doesn't have to say anything first, which I feel like was the only differentiating oh, factor on really? Bumble. Oh, really? I mm. did not know that. Because that's where I was going to list Bumble. Have you, Second worst is because uh, the girl always had to respond. And then there is that whole thing where it was like on Tinder when it was popular, the guy had to be super creative and clever, mm, you know, wow. and then the Whoa. girls would just be like, hey, hey. and then, you know, uh, but Hinge is great because you have a lot of information. A lot. Why would you let this happen in July? I forgot that. <laughs> I, honestly, I thought I thought Diggy was back over here for a second. <laughs> yeah, I'll dig in there. Did you guys see uh, Bumble's marketing plan when they first launched? No. Oh, it was pretty interesting. Genius. Genius. Um, so on a lot of campuses, they would have, you know, when you're in class, no social media, no phone, no whatever. So they would replace the signs with like no social media, no phone, no Bumble. Like an <gasps> extra all of it. So everybody's like, why, why can't yeah, why can't we use this too? Like yeah. everybody's using it. And then they'd have been a giant lecture lecture hall and they'd have this beautiful women walk in wearing Bumble shirts 10 minutes late to class. So everybody looks at them and like make a big thing and like, oh, I'm in the wrong class. And they'd see the Bumble again. And then they're like, okay, wait, what they is this? They keep seeing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they start using it. 
This was like when Bumble. it first started. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow, Wolf. that is genius. Yeah, I love that. Oh my God. So Bumble, were you on Raya? No. I haven't been, I've been on the wait list for two years. <laughs> Damn, who else was on the wait list for two years? Everyone. So, uh, we just had a comedian who, who was that? Michael Me. Blaustein. Yeah, Michael Blaustein was on. Really? Like, oh, oh, tr no, Trevor was on. Oh yeah, on. you're right, you're right. Trevor, no, who was on? I can't remember. No idea. Anyways, no, Trevor couldn't get on. You're Trevor right. couldn't get Michael on, and Michael, yeah, because Michael's agent or something new. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. yeah that's what it was. Do you remember your first dating app? Probably uh, Tinder. I think maybe Hot or Not. Do you remember oh. that? Was that a dating app? I thought I that was just an ego. That was just like an ego pumping thing. <laughs> walk us through Hot or Not for anyone who's the uninitiated. Dude, I kind of forget about it. I just have like a vague like foggy memory of being you in show, high you, school. Will you pull up like the, the branding of hot or not? Were I, you hot or not? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Cause I, I joined it like before I lost oh, you like a lot of it? weight. So, or like well, you not just sign joined up. it. Sign yeah, up, sign up and like submit you know? your photos. But, and so I was just like, and I looked like I was eight years old. But right. just like a very round eight year old, and I'm on there trying to be like, <laughs> "Yo, I'm freaking hot," <laughs> yeah. and it just, it, it oh was yeah, not, yeah, that's actually up there. That's I feel like that's that's newer branding. Honestly, no hot or not, walk so Tinder could run. Oh, definitely. I feel like I thought for the longest time Tinder. Oh, he was supposed to hurt his butt. Thank I, you. I thought for the longest time Tinder came from hot or not. I, the branding is so similar. Yeah, like the heart on fire yeah. and everything. Holy oh, shit. Man. Oh yeah. This just took me back. I don't hot. remember the numbers. <laughs> I only remember where it was like hot or not. Like God, you literally is, said hot or not. It wasn't like a scale. That's devastating. Wow. That looks like Jeffree Star on the right. I was <laughs> I've been wondering my entire life how they made tartar sauce. Yeah. They mix yeah. it with his saliva. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. Man, so that's this is gonna be tough for you. This could be a lot of multitasking. <laughs> yep, it's just it's just mayo and his saliva, and that is tartar sauce, just baby girl. <laughs> Tank. That's so nice. Well, let's fucking review these uh, the internet profiles. You smell like old fish. Here's oh the God, issue. Here we go. Do you do either of you? Have, let's Zach. Let's start with you. Or Jared, do you want to start? Oh just wait, this. wait. I want to say even our assistant is on Raya before me or Zach. Yeah, track. Yeah, yeah, what's going on there? I don't know. And she's getting hogged down. I love that for Alyssa, Jared. that's great. Oh, yeah. Okay. Zach, what? do you have a strategy? Do either of you have a strategy for your app, like an, an approach? Oh, um, I kind of mm -hmm. have the same message every time if I am gonna message. Again, I don't use it too much. Okay. I, I do like meeting someone in, in, in the wild. IRL? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. As the kids say. Yeah, you're young enough so that you're now getting back to the way things used to be, but yeah. like we, you even, like we skipped that even. Like we're, mm. we're over it. Right. Millennials are so confused, I feel like, when it comes to relationships. Right, right, right. Um, I usually DM, I'll say, um, I feel like we're taking things too fast. And then- That's a pretty good line. And they're, and they're they usually get a, at least a chuckle. So how many times have you sent that, do you think? 47. <laughs> 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 to be honest though, of 183 or something. No, 800. 800. 800, 800. Yeah. What, I mean 5%? Not even? Not, that's not so not bad. bad. Yeah, think about but it. Those he's aren't also, matches. He's also the pickiest guy alive. And so like, you know, he'll show me or I'll show him just like one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. Yeah. And he'll just go, eh. eh. I'm like, it's mm. not that I'm and to the women. I just have a specific, if I'm attracted to them, I'm like, oh yeah, I find them attractive. If I don't, I'm like, oh, I'm not attracted to them. But well, for the longest no time, I thought, I would always tell people if they asked, they're like, what's X type? I would go like vaguely ethnic, you know? Uh, <laughs> what's up, DIY? <laughs> yeah, light, light exotic. But, yeah. and, but and, like, and by the way, women love when you refer to them. As <laughs> <laughs> but exotic. like nowadays, I don't think he even knows what his type is because he'll hmm. show me one girl. He's like, this is the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. And then and it was. And then I'll show him somebody and they could they could be sisters and he'll just go, no. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, because I'm. I don't want to date both sisters. I've oh already got God. once. If you were to like call yourself out for the least attractive quality that you're attracted to in a woman, what would it be? The least attractive quality that I'm attracted to. Yeah, like you, like you know, some people are just into things. That you're like, you like that 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 turns really like Pete Davidson. Oh, okay. Well, but like, what part about Pete Davidson? Just like the grimy. Okay, the grime. Yeah, the grime. Yeah. The crime. <laughs> I don't know. I I would have to have some examples because oh. I don't I don't know if I have too many of those. Sometimes I am like really into goth chicks. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I have a friend. I'll just say her name. Emma Norton. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, she's Jared, a hot goth. Jared wants to get physical with her. <laughs> oh, should we Facetime her? She is a hot goth, and I see that for both of you. But like, we could shoot your shot right now, Zach. Uh, you know, I always say just like. 
goth girls have like a scary hot about them. Like yeah. Pete Davidson is he, an ugly hot. He like said, that's how yeah, he's described. Ugly hot. You know, like scary hot. I'm kind of into. Okay. okay. Jared right. said he wants to turn her guts inside out like a I World War II say victim. That. Dude. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's get into these Jared. profiles. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who do we want to start with? Let's start with Zach. What is this ominous voice? Do, <laughs> does she have a camera on her? Uh, no. Wow. Look at these oh, graphics. Like you even have it like within the yeah, phone. Yeah, this is nice. That's impressive. This is <laughs> Who nice. Who put this together? Yeah. <laughs> and it's got the dynamic <laughs> island in it. Great Debbie, job. are you hiring? <laughs> are, you, are hiring? you hiring? Okay, so I'd love for, to work for you to learn. Okay, so yes, for the audio listeners, we're going to give you the visual transcription as well, too, as we walk through this. Um, babe, start us off. Okay, so who's in the photo? background bro. of that first Sorry, photo? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go. Up one more time this episode. Go, go, I'm throwing go, you at this go, 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 go. <laughs> Finish your thought. <laughs> Set it up. It's done. Finish it's done. it. Go ahead. I actually had a girl put that as my first photo. Like go through photos I had on my phone. So it's got a woman's touch to the profile. And put the first photo on. Okay. I didn't even necessarily think that was a good photo actually. But she was like, it just seems casual enough to, you're not taking it too seriously. Mm -hmm. And then the douchey one, they're like, you got to have that in there for the certain type of girls. But you got to keep it deep so you don't look pretentious. So okay. the, these three photos are all, all you all got, right? Just three? No, no, no. There's, no, there's, there's, more. there's, more. there's more. There's more. Okay, but this is the top? This is the top. Of, Got this, it. Yeah. I think this is the top. Okay, so uh, for Zach's profile, uh, the, the, the reason I asked like what you're into that you're not you know, not all that thrilled or proud of. Look at handsome. Because I want to see the vibe you're giving off. Yeah. And see if you're oh. if you're attracting that. So let's start at the top. So for Zach, um, this year. So the question is, this year I really want to, and then you fill in later on the prompt. Yeah. And so his his um, <laughs> prompt was answered by hit the soldier boy in a Denny's parking lot with the love of my life. Not a bad goal. Not I mean, a bad goal. I think There's, that's good. Thank I, you. I know why I like it. I like that. Why do you like it? it it's like not, it's original. One, it's like that's something that you've never read before. Like you didn't pull it off chat GPT. And it's not something you've probably seen on a profile before. And it's funny, but you're also, it's also like endearing that you're looking for the love of your life. Mm, I am. That's very true. I don't think I'm a hookup guy. I think I'm a relationship guy. I think you are too. You're a lover. I think so too. Uh, but the reason I like it is, Soldier Boy, we're targeting millennials. Uh -huh. True. It's the right age demo. Denny's, we're Real? targeting- oh, I gotta switch my thing because I had it only to 18 year olds. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, that's, that's okay. So the Denny's, so it's like, it's it's a chain, it's relatable, it's comfortable. We've mm -hmm. all, we all know Denny's. Mm -hmm. And being able to dance the parking lot is not something you do to hook up. You would do that with someone right. that you're- The love of your life. The yeah. love of your life. Okay, next, uh, he's 27 years old. Mm -hmm. That's Says, a lie. I have a question. <laughs> when, when, do you both put media as your job? No, you'll get to mine. Mine's it's stupid. Just wait for what, so, what do you what are your thoughts when you see media? Uh, I didn't want to put like, you, putting social like, media, like social media, or like podcast host first. Like, I think I think that I would rather kill yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, yeah, me yeah. media, you know, TV, film, writing, like any of that just seemed a little too LA. Okay, uh -huh. I agree. It's like when someone in their bio has like rapper, writer, model, dancer, actor, painter. <laughs> you know. Are you self-conscious of calling yourself an influencer? Uh, I prefer creator. Okay. okay. <laughs> Got it. All right. Uh, just, I was just wondering. And then uh, the picture of Handsome in a scarf. Damn! Oh, ten ten. look at our little boy. He's in dog school right now, and I miss him so much. Oh, That's adorable. The house just feels so empty without him. And that's him. actually one of his worst pictures, because I wanted when people saw him in real life to be like, he's so much cuter in real life. I think it looks adorable. He exactly. Looks that's yeah, how good he looks. He's in a looks. sweater. He's yeah, in a true. Mr. Rogers sweater. I want to give you um, also credit for, and I'm sure that this is the doing of the girl who chose your first photo, but girls go feral for a guy with a backwards hat. Oh. Okay, so that's why. That's why that's she. Why that's why that it. one needs to be much higher than the douchey one that you've got included as well, too. Yeah. The backwards hat is is key. I mean, I that's what I heard. I that's had it at the top. Coming from a girl who likes grime. Oh. It's true, yeah, maybe. But but I she chose it too. I don't, I don't know anything about the other girl and she chose that picture first. I certainly know, I'm like, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm just saying you, we need, we need to be cognizant of our bias. But also look who I pulled. I, I got good taste. It's a good taste. point. Yeah, great it's taste. It's a good point. Yeah. Uh, the best way to ask I me out is by notes. forcing me at <laughs> <gun point. laughs> Do people ever respond to this? I would say, actually question. Um, well, let's go through. What well, was the prompt? Uh, the best way to ask me out is by forcing me at gunpoint. People oh. love that one because they just they just uh, send back a gun emoji. Right. Oh, oh that's yeah. easy. You, you yeah. open the door for that's them. All, a that's all they gotta walk in. Yeah. Okay. And funny enough, I went on a date with someone um, who I met on Hinge, and later we just became friends. 
And later I saw her profile again and she changed it to that exact <gasps> prompt. Oh, she wow. It. I was like, whoa. Did you great call time, her out? Hey, great time it? for names. <laughs> yeah, you um, drop everybody else's name. I forgot her name. That's okay. She's a lovely woman. <laughs> oh, yeah, though. you guys are friends. Big That's friends. Okay. I mean, uh, do you often become friends with your ex hinge dates? Yeah, if I go on a date once and I feel like it's more of a friendship, and I was like, oh, this is a really nice person. I want them in my life, but I don't necessarily need to see their areolas, then yeah. I'll throw them in the old okay. uh, friendship ring. What if you've already seen their areolas? Happened. Okay. And then it's, I think it's fine. I think we're all human beings who are going to die. No one's going to remember us. And Also, know. everyone's got areolas. Yeah. Yeah, but true. some people have not ones that I go, wowzers. Diggy's got eight. Oh. He doesn't eat your All right, next page. Speaking of Emma Norton, the girl that you're in love with, she had a, uh, she posted a picture today and she had like a almost see-through shirt on and she had nipple piercings and it looked like she had a ton of nipples and I swiped up and I said, what are you, a cat? <laughs> and she loved it. And I'm laying the groundwork okay. for you. Uh, this might be the funniest thing I've ever seen. One thing I'll never do again, my ex. And it's, it's also featuring a signature Zach Justice look. <laughs> the with the brown jacket yes oh yeah and, oh yeah. i love the that turtleneck. jacket zara uh -huh. the turtleneck for sure yeah no and then i guess to the right here we, we almost see like the other like it's like the we see a, a small preview of the fuck boy zach yeah uh -huh. right but i like it it's good this page is the one that like, girls get to and if they've already like they're on the fence mm -hmm. this is i gotta put them over yeah or one way or the other no one looks at that these last two pictures and goes yeah i don't know they're like oh my god i, I think i love him or like oh i fucking hate his face can you go back to the original pictures first for a second you're not smiling in any of these photos. Well, well, he happy. doesn't smile. What? That's the thing. I'm not happy and I'm not You're a liar. You're not happy, but do you know how many girls are also just checking to make sure that you have all your teeth? <laughs> really? Yeah, 100%. Nope. Because like I, I know people who have gone on dates and they they get there and they're like, oh, I just can't get, I can't get past, you know? Uh, that's a good point. I can't, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we won't, maybe not like no, that. That's it. That's it. I don't know Actually, what's happening let's there. Let's take it right now. That, that, let's fucking send it. That's uh, and? <laughs> What's happening there? That's going to be it. It's a smile. We'll, we'll swap them out. Uh -huh. We'll swap so them out. I would actually love to get like a professional's opinion on whether or not smiling or showing like happiness and like almost being warm and open and inviting actually helps you or if being somewhat closed off is yeah. much better at getting. I've never been a teeth smiler. Yeah. That's just not I who I am as a person. So I don't have any. <laughs> yeah. Really? You have none. It's it's less honestly about being a happy person and more just verifying that you do in fact have all your teeth. Yeah. yeah. You, your Instagram is connected to it, right? No clue. No, I don't think so. I don't think. I didn't when I was on Hinge. Yeah. Don't even know if you had that feature five years ago. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. No, I, I think it's on there. Right? Uh, but I, I guess my thought is they can look it up. Right. Do, is your last name on here? I thought it was just first name. Why the this hell they block out where I live? Name. How are they supposed to find me? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but all you gotta do is just take one of the images and put it in reverse image search and then pop I it guess, in Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't right. you guys nerds? Yeah. Aren't you I guys guess. nerds? Yeah. One, of, one of them, I, I don't know if they found me on a hinge. They found me somewhere and then somehow found my phone number. Sick. Probably through the science you Shut use. Shut the fuck oh, up. Yeah, they texted me like a bunch of long People stuff. People are always shocked at just how easy their phone numbers are to find if they don't do anything about it. But also, yeah. if you text someone that you want to go on a date with that they didn't give you their number. That's a bold move. 100% not, not going to work out move. unless you're an 11 out of 10 smoke show. Here's the deal. When you say the best way to get me to go on a date is forcing me at gunpoint, I think that's an open invitation for me to find your number and tell you when we're going that's on true. a fucking date. That's true. So this is on you. I'd rather be in a gunfight than a knife fight. That's separate from all this. Yeah, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> say, that's just on I'm your mind. I'm not quite sure Nobody how that's tied together. Fight. No, no, no. But... We'll, we'll table that, but I do yeah. want to get back to that. Yeah. I'll throw you on the table right now. All right, we can go back next to her. I mean, uh, overall, how, how do you feel? Jared, have you seen his dating? Is, is this the first time you're seeing the profile? No, I've seen it before. Okay. Um, he's what, do you have any before. notes? Do, do this thing. Do I have any notes? Um... No, honestly, I probably would have put the the last couple pictures uh, like up a little higher. Mm. But granted, he did have like you know a woman's touch go through this, okay. so I feel multiple like women. I, I and I have not. When um, I'm dancing with eight women in the club, I call that an octopus. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm with you. I think I think relatable first. Yeah. And, yeah. To me, agreed. It's this. This is there's a beginning, middle, and end here. And the big, honestly, the thing I might change is maybe, no. Get rid have, of the dog? You, no, no, you have to do it. You have to No, have you the have dog. to keep handsome. Oh, yeah, you can, gotta Can I the see dog. the other photos one more time? Are there any photos that have kind of the full body situation? I mean, um, I, I see that one 
Kind of. Kind yeah, of. the one with the Do jacket. Do you want me standing with just in a considerable distance? <laughs> no. I mean, because no, no, no. you want to be able to connect with their. No, no, no. But gear. I think that sometimes girls, especially uh, again, whatever the target is, might be looking for like girls? what the, the builds. <laughs> it, it's oh, very presumptuous. I, well, are we swiping on both genders now? No, no, you said. What do you mean both genders? All wow. the genders. Oh, oh, fuck me. This close to June? <laughs> uh, That's all we have for today. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. I think that some people, I think that some of your potential swipeys might want to see the full body build. Yeah, I feel like that's Watch this important. That's why I do this podcast. If they want oh, to yeah, the body, just for this. they can yeah. swipe the right. They can build. see it in person. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm about to start working out more. Yes. Just so you know, ladies. About, he's How much do you guys think I weigh? Buck You're 6'3". Buck 85. Buck 80. 180. You're 180? 196. Wow. Oh, that's, not wow. that's not that far off. We're about me. the same weight now. Yeah, I know. Nobody usually, everybody thinks I'm 170, which is because I, I think I have the skinny arms. Yeah. Maybe. We have. Oh, yeah. well, your, you could have um thick thighs. It's whatever. <laughs> we have the body of like a uh, paper clip. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I'm about to get in the, I'm about That's to get in the gym. I feel like hear. next summer, there's going to be a lot of people washing their clothes on my stomach. Okay. Um, oh, wow. And if there's Washboard. not, that's just because I was too lazy to do it. Let's okay. go to Jared. All right. Was that not Jared? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Let's go. Sex oh. appeal. Okay, so Jared off the bat starts with my best blue steel. I let you pop my clitoral hood. And What's hit, up? Hit, hits him with a selfie right off the bat. Amen, brother. Lauren, what are your thoughts? I think it's a good picture of you, Jared. Thank you. I had just gotten my hair cut yeah, that day. Yeah, no, your hair looks really good. Also, something says Paris behind you. Can we check you? Lauren's mic? Oh, no, yeah. It was a lot higher pitched a moment ago <laughs> when she responded to that. And I no, sorry, sure. I'm flipping back and forth right now because I, my eyes are ass and I'm having trouble seeing. But no, I think that's a good photo of you. Thank you. I wouldn't have started with a selfie. Okay. I, I was going to agree on that, but I didn't want to throw down his self-esteem seeing as he deleted the app, but this, <laughs> might, this might be why. Well, no, this is this is good because I've never had... And you're close enough to 6'2 to throw 6'2 in there. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and lie. As long as go you're over six lie. foot, as long as you're over six foot, I feel like a lot of girls cast their net just six feet and over. Okay. And and I think girls do that knowing that they're going to get the five tens in there as well too because those guys are lying. Out of curiosity, could you just like put nine inches? <laughs> <laughs> I th probably. You got a, you got a decent hog on you. What, what um? Yeah, I believe that. Right down the barrel, you yeah, can tell can you them how big you're. Just like you're just like eleven inches, just period. And just, <laughs> I bet like you thought that's what they were asking for. Did you watch that? Was it Jubilee video where they ranked people from smallest penis to biggest penis? You no, saw they, that? They had to no. rank. Oh, they had but to like rank. They, the guys had to know. rank themselves. So like before, everybody knew their penis size. Well, they knew their personal, but they ranked based on everybody's looks. And then they went to a doctor and ranked real. And then they went to a doctor again and it all ranked hard. Wow, yeah. Jubilee has changed since last time I watched their channel. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if I could tell you the size of my flaccid member. It, 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 it ranges so much. Yeah, like a good dick day, bad dick day. A lot of oh, people, yeah. they'll ask, are you a go or are you a shower? And right. I'll mm -hmm. say, it depends on the Tuesday. Right. <laughs> Sometimes I throw it down and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to show anybody this. No, I get it. For the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. And then sometimes I'm like, <laughs> if someone walked in and saw it, they'd probably tell their friends not bad. Right. Yeah. And I think that's what we're all going for after the age of like 50. Yeah, not definitely. Bad. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Not yeah. bad. Like not like recoil. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Back to recoil. So <laughs> I, I have a, I have something to say. I think that like, so when I was first getting back into dating, I was looking for someone specifically that didn't want to be famous, that had never done a professional photo shoot. So seeing Zach's photos, I would have been like, oh no, like this is not for me. This is not what I'm looking for. So I don't think it's a red Thanks. flag that it's, you're so welcome, that it's a selfie photo. Because I think when you see professional photos, you're like, oh, this guy maybe already has 800 people liking his profile. Like I don't have a shot. That's a great point. Yeah. Yeah, I think you should fucking I never use a selfie um, up top on a dating profile. Okay. But then again, yeah. I've never, never swiped right on you or or any other guy. That's that true. Is. Not so, a lot of people have. So you're in a pretty big boat. For us? Yeah. So would you rather? Uh, God. Oh find, God, I'm blind. Find your too. soulmate. Win the lottery. Rottery. Win the lottery. <laughs> win the lottery, or go back and win the sweet life Danimal sweepstakes to meet Zach and Cody. That's a good line. Again, that's that is targeting the right millennial audience. That's. Okay, when I would get matches, that was a hitter. Yeah, that, that's that's fire. And but, now he's dating someone older than him. But just real quick, what emo goth girl looks at that and goes, yeah, hell yeah. You'd be surprised. There are I a was couple. emo and watched Zach and Cody. Yeah, yeah. You're, not, you're not goth. No, it wasn't goth. It wasn't goth. I was, I was a scene kid, not yeah. even, I don't even well, know what emo. That's the thing. 
I don't think my profile is attracting the scary goth girls, you okay. know. Mm. But, it's like a, it's like a byproduct. Yeah, it's a byproduct. Okay. Some, but, the goth girl. but some some girls like uh, some goth girls like the contrast, like the the, the opposite. Boy. Well, I feel like you have a soft. I don't mean this in no, a demeaning way at all. Please, I know bottom like demeanor. Okay, <laughs> and you know what? Wait, bottom. I take like that back. Demeanor. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Expound. Say if he was in a relationship of homosexual descent, mm. he would be a bottom, which is usually a little bit more of a. He's receiving the love. <laughs> it's a <laughs> more. Can I be a power bottom at least? No oh. chance. I don't think he's a, a, a don't supple. Think they're, I don't think more of that. a supple role is okay. that the term? A supple I don't know. Uh, let's get what's his name, Chris. Let's get Chris on the line. <laughs> Olson. Um, so I feel like you like to be dominated. I don't like to be dominated in the bedroom. But okay, so the I'm, way to win me over is either through an old-fashioned <laughs> duel or joust. You pick. Is yeah. there like a subliminal message in here, or is it just? Uh, he just loves going to the medieval times. Either shoot joust me or stab me. Different, you know. So, huh? is well, a duel and a joust? Yeah, duel is like when you take the five steps or ten steps or whatever. You turn around, you shoot each other. Oh. So whoever gets shot, yeah, um, has you to gonna, pay for dinner. Do a lot of people swipe on that? Sometimes I had a girl, she goes, how about we use lightsabers instead? And I, how did that? I kind of was. Are you guys still talking? That. No. Um, but. <laughs> Is this like your answer to Zach's um, at gunpoint thing? No. Oh, he 100% I, I steals my things. I made this before I ever saw you. I ha I've saw had me. Hinge, saw your profile. I had Hinge way before you. I don't. I don't love this one. This one. Okay. This one's. This one's giving <laughs> serving violence a little bit. Yeah. And the gunpoint wasn't. All right. Jared, people yeah, but love he's gun giving violence. like full you sad boy energy. His whole profile. You know what oh, I mean? Like that. Okay. That's that aligns. All right. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. This one. Okay. We'll we'll, so we'll take that part. We'll out. take that out. I think um, we can workshop that. Yeah. Whether you're searching for the latest sneaker drop, that iconic handbag, a timeless watch, or your next piece of classic jewelry, eBay authenticators are there verifying every detail of your purchase. We're talking each inch, stitch, tick, facet, and clasp that make the piece you're searching for worthy of your collection. eBay's authenticators are experts in their craft, true connoisseurs, and as leaders in their fields, they're making sure your items always arrive as authentic as your style. So go ahead, get the piece that you've always wanted and leave it up to the meticulous eye of an eBay authenticator to make sure that the watch movement is original, that glimmer is real gold, that rare sneaker is legit, or that handbag is really made of genuine leather. And never get faked over again. In a world full of fakes, it's time to get real with eBay authenticity guarantee. Everyone deserves real. Visit ebay.com for terms. Ready to ditch the usual car services and swipe right on something different? Let's talk about Turo. Think of it as the Tinder for cars, but without the awkward small talk or unsolicited eggplant emojis, Turo is here to redefine the way you think about booking a car. Say see ya to the old way of doing things and hello to a world of options right at your fingertips. Ready for that road trip you and your friends have been planning, got a special event, or working with a budget? Well, Turo has you covered. With Turo, you can book space Spacious SUVs and minivans show up to a classic or luxury car that screams, I've arrived, or find an affordable economy car that will simply get you from point A to B. I recently just got a new Tesla, and luckily because Jeremy already owns one, I was able to test it out and see if I really wanted it or not. Turo is like a taste test for cars. Many Turo hosts will even deliver the car right to you. No trekking across town, no lines, no hassle. Whether you're in the US, the UK, Canada, or Australia, remember, Turo's got your back. Every trip is backed by liability insurance, terms, conditions, and exclusions apply. Find your drive, forget boring rental cars at Turo.com. Job title is Beep Boop Maker at Beep Boop Inc. Oh, Music. that makes me want Jared, to, that Jared, made me so Jared, dry. This has got to go. Okay, this sorry. Is gotta go. This is, sorry, 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 sorry. What were you going for? Because uh, I'm sure there was a reason. Yeah, I just, I think I just, I didn't want to just put like music producer. Okay, so this is this there. is the weakness of. Ben. But you're also not. No, 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 we don't believe in peer review, 
And if one person had seen this, and I don't care who it is, what friend, uh -huh. no real friend of yours would allow you <laughs> okay. to keep that. So note to self, show my no, dating profiles no, to people. No be boops. Oh, I had the, what did I make you change? Oh, I made him change a couple of things in his lifetime. One of them. <laughs> no, that, shut up. What? <laughs> shut up. Boundaries. Don't you dare. Boundaries. Boundaries. It's boundaries. Not even a bad, bad boundaries. Bad juju. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. All right, Jared, you get you get one for this entire episode where you get to stop him in his tracks. Do you want to use it now or do you want to, you want to say it? I think it? so. There's part of the coming of age thing, you yeah. know? And also, I'm a big fan of sometimes you just need your best buddy to just bully the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, until, trust me. He until, does it. Until you drop those behaviors and that's... I do it for the best. A yeah. lot of people are against bullying. I'm for it until, you know, obviously the self-harm. So, University of Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music. So you you went to Cincinnati Conservatory? Mm -hmm. Oh, it, yeah. Remember, Jared and I have degrees. Yeah, that's a, a pretty good school. I yeah. know. Yeah, world yeah. renowned. I look at that. It, it makes C it CCM makes the beep bebop boop a, a little tiny bit worse, but f uh, worse. By, um, Okay. Sorry, better, better, better. Okay, better, okay. Better. I was sorry, like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like if you knew CCM and you would audition there and you saw that, there's like deep layer cuts, I right. guess. Right. Yeah. yeah. That the beep boobs gotta go. Okay, yeah. beep boops going. Beep, beep, beep we'll boops. be in New York City July 27th <laughs> if you want to come to our live show. July 27th, link in description, City Next. Winery, Chelsea. Hey. Oh, we're getting better. We're getting better. Okay. Okay. Uh, the the prompt. That's not your dog. Okay. Excuse me, I spend more time guys... with him than you, so I don't want to freaking hear it. Not true. That's, I love, that is I true. I love the co-parenting and that I, I just, I would love to know how many girls have come across both profiles and been like, do- That's the same dog. This, do, you, <laughs> do you introduce it as like, I love your dog. Do you say, thank you? Huh? If they're like, I love your dog. Do you say, thank you? Yeah. Or, or, that's not your dog. He's I, a, well, he's a I help raise him. You did almost nothing. What are you talking about? I have spent more time with him than you. No. Yes. If we, you know, that's a lot. How, how many, how many, how many, okay. We'll just, just answer honestly, short, no explanations. How many poops have you picked up this week? Both of the answer. Go ahead. Well, he's, he's, he's gone. He's in, he's in oh, training. Yeah. Okay. On a average week. How I, many have, poops? I have picked up a thousand times more poop than he has. That is not true. Jared. I used to have to clean up his pin when he was a puppy Jared, all the time. That was, he Who, did okay. it once. Who I did not do it once. It's not a big deal. I've done it. Like, I can't even count how many times. How that, many? That I, picture makes me mad. The one with the rainbow lights. Huh? That makes me. That I was told my smile looks nice in that I photo. I don't know who told you that. So that's the only thing good about that photo. Several girls when I posted it let's, on Instagram. Let's go back to handsome real quick. If I put handsome in the right, exact. Room, oh, sorry. Uh, whatever. And I put both of you on the other side. Okay. Handsome loves him. Welcome but to the party. You spend 15 hours a day in your room. Okay. Okay. Well, I've got Jesus. a schedule for masturbation. I was going to say one. Yeah. Wow. That's a a... So um, let's go all the way back far left. So how did you come to the decision? Back that, to the Bud Light? Uh, yeah. Back to the Bud Light. Uh, how did we come to the decision that uh, putting the, the fixture with the podcast with Neil deGrasse Tyson um, was going to be the look that like okay. starts the conversation you're most interested in having? Well, that's because I want to I didn't know your name find dropping. a girl that's like, also just as nerdy okay. as me, especially mm -hmm. when it that comes the right, to- That was the yeah. answer I was looking for. Yeah, and yeah. so it's like if somebody, cause there were a couple people that would like match with that and they go, oh my God, I love him, you know? And so I knew that they were big astronomy nerds. Dude. But like, what's funny about it is if I didn't know better, I would have thought that you would have paid for a VIP access to make, take a picture with him. By the, way, ah. by the way, you're standing in your own studio. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> it's, but it's, it's very endearing. Okay. It's that's, endearing. That's a great Thanks point. Thanks too, right? But it does look like he's at a fan meet meet and greet, right? Yeah, a little bit. But mm. I think if someone is gonna be it's same thing, your you're, you're you're casting that net for the for the the cute little nerdy girl. Yeah. It's gonna be like, oh my god, Neil deGrasse Tyson. And then you're like, oh my god, yeah, I had him on my podcast. And that's like a good convo starter, I think. I don't, there's not everyone's gonna recognize him, but the ones who do. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I know. Okay, got it. And so uh, And I just thought the the prompt title was funny, me and my best friend. Um I just thought it was Oh, you funny didn't write that. Somebody else. The, yeah, somebody else wrote got that. It. Okay. Just, yeah. Um and then I really do enjoy the social engineering joke. Do people get it? Uh oh, the your mother's maiden name and Read this. The, give us the whole thing. So the prompt was uh, the one thing I'd love to know about you is your mother's maiden name, the street you grew up on, and the, the name of your first pet. Yes. That's great. I think Thank that's you. funny. That's good. I don't know if it's original, <laughs> but it's funny. Listen, I can't you know? get past that's not his dog under it. And he's been telling <laughs> he's been telling these rats of women. I no, been, I say that he's been I, bringing home. I say that 
I'm like the uncle to that dog. Okay, oh, this be, is my roommate. Stop. Okay, stop. I, to be fair, the prompt is, are you a dog person? It's not a dog owner. Are you a dog person? That's true. So I will say that. He's not claiming it. He, he is. He just said that when they swipe up and say, your dog's so cute, he says thank you. Okay, so he's claiming it. He's claiming no, it. No, I'm not claiming as the owner. Like, I will- What like, are you claiming it as? They say, your dog's cute. What am I supposed to do? Explain my yeah. whole, like, connection Send to this dog? Send him away. I would just say- I say, <laughs> I say, thank you. I'm a grown man who lives with other men, and that man has a dog, and that's this dog. And this, this dog is, is my roommate. This Well, this is usually how the conversation goes. They go, your dog is really cute. I say, thank you. They go, how old is he? And I said- uh, I, When's his I, birthday? It's in February. What's the date? Oh. 12, 17th. <gasps> Damn it. <gasps> Who's the daddy now? I never <laughs> claim to be the dad. I'm gonna bend you over this and put you I in doggy I always style. say I'm the uncle, but Handsome lives with us. Yeah, okay. I, my name's and Zach too. You can refer to me as that. I spend, I I am still firm I, on this. I, I, I spend more I'm time gonna, I'm about to go you. Solomon on him and say we're gonna split him in half. You could both have half of them. Stutter city population him, huh? Okay, not, see, now you're just attacking points that don't matter. Next Attack prompt, these we next are pictures. moving on. Australia is wider than the moon. I don't and know. Kids, if you're watching, sometimes mommy and daddy fight. <laughs> I don't know what the prompt is, but I, uh, it, it says, says a random ra fact I love is Australia is wider than the moon. That just blew my mind. That doesn't do anything for me, positive or negative. I feel the same way. That's I'm like, space. oh, wow, I actually didn't know that. No, space. people, I, but I feel like you could add something like if you got rid of it or you kept it, not a big deal. But if you added something else there that could really make them more interested, I would maybe do that. Okay. Opportunity that for sense. growth. Okay, that's fair. Because yeah. like, I see that, I'm like, yeah. okay. People do comment on that or have commented on that in the past. Mm -hmm. So that is like, it, it. it's more than just dead space. Or you is know? it attracting people who There's are dead space? There. That's a good point. That's a great point. And so uh, the last one being, I can teach you how to. <laughs> Don't and, throw teeth in there. And it's a picture of you strumming a guitar. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. Is this the beep beep boop boop? So this is the, the boop 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 beep boop. Are we mm. going to talk about the... The rainbow thing first? I think your teeth do look really nice. And as someone who cares about teeth, I would be like, this guy's got a full set of great teeth. I think I'm smiling at every single one of my pictures, except for the first one, but <laughs> in the last one. Just a happy guy. Listen, man, I say this, <laughs> that is <laughs> wild. <laughs> I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but I'm getting comfortable <laughs> in here. Uh, this <laughs> is crazy. This is what I'm saying. The last two make me visibly angry. Okay. Okay. And I don't know why. And that's just really I, even the last one. The the last one makes me want to kill myself. Okay. The, okay. The last one makes me want to join Boy Scouts just to learn how to tie a knot so I can end it. Oh. Okay. My mom said, told me that um, Boy Scouts are for um, boys with dads. <laughs> I thought it was for boys without dads so you can learn how to do stuff. Well. Well, no, because then you would take your dads on the camping trips. And my stuff. dad wouldn't go. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't for us. Um. It was not for us. Okay, Jared. The first, the one in the suit is great. That's a good one, I think. I think you look sexy and cute. Uh, that's my favorite Thank picture you. by I far. I also took it. Not a big deal. Um, <laughs> he did take And your that. teeth look great in that one, so we know you have teeth. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm with you. You see the teeth over you there. You don't, teeth need, right you don't there. need the fucking rainbow. So the one with the rainbow where you look like you wear Etnies and Oasis on the regular mm -hmm. has okay. got to go. Chunky Shoes has got to go. Okay. And the last one, I don't know what I don't, youth group why does that you, piss you, off so you make much? five bucks for every week, but it makes me so sick to my stomach. I think that's harsh. I would say that's, <laughs> that's I would say that is Hold kind on. of. I got an idea. I have an idea. I want you to tell us your favorite parts about it first. This is a good exercise for you, Zach. I want zero. You. No, no, the sexy, sexy and cute picture, the first one. Oh, no, no, the re a lot of them I like. I like the one with Neil deGrasse Tyson, that's cool. Yep. I like the one, I already said the one that with the other teeth and he's got the stripes in the background. That one looks good. Um, I would change your first picture to maybe that We're one. We're all doing positives okay. here. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm not. And then <laughs> the guitar one, it just it fits the stereotype of a guy you bring over and he breaks out his guitar, which I feel like might be the worst thing that's, in the entire world. Yeah, that's the worst nightmare for Ooh. many girls. Yeah, my one. Do you know? <laughs> oh, I just got this new guitar. Oh. <laughs> and then they have to ask, oh, what songs do you know? And then you just start playing. Uh, and then I play Sweet Creature by Harry Styles and they go feral. That is a, uh, you, no. Yeah, but I feel like that should be a surprise move. They shouldn't be expecting that, that you know? That is true. They're expecting it. Okay. Well, now they're expecting it. I didn't realize they were expecting it. I, I think the, that last guitar picture, 
has like, now that I've looked at it for so long, I'm like, did he put this on self timer and set this photo up? I know that's what I was thinking about the whole time. The level of like, like, okay, you know, I think we could, I think we could replace that with something better. All right, we'll replace it. Okay, Um, Australia's got to go. That's got to go. Um, the first picture's got to go. This thing is going to be bare bones by the time we're done. (laughs) No, no, no. Oh, and the winter one or the hat. Uh, okay, so it's the the first picture can stay, second picture can stay, and then just change the caption of handsome to "This is my roommate's dog." Okay. Yes, perfect. Can I do send. that? Is that? Send. Can you do custom like? This is no, my nephew. No, you can use. That's actually really cute to say. Yeah. You can use my dog for coitus if you'd like. Okay, Thank Lauren. You. What type of woman? Oh God. Do you think Jared's attracting? I think a sweet, cute nerd. There we go. Okay. And what type of woman was Zach's profile attracting? Sweet, cute nerd. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Honestly, my gut reaction was a little bit of a social climber. This is what I'm going to say. My number one trait in an estrogen human is... Um, you translation for that? Uh, women. Women, yeah. Mm. Or woman. I'm usually monogamous. Okay. Um, <laughs> is self-awareness. Like, does someone... Like, if we're in a room and something weird happens... And everybody's like, what? And so you that- want a woman to know her place? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, if I had a time machine, go back to the 50s and could just live in that era, I would. Okay. But no. Um, but yeah. You, know, you, you want know, them to fit a role? No, no. Self-awareness is like we're just, we're in a room and we're kind of on the same wavelength. of If something weird happens. And you both clock it. And we're, we're both like. That was weird. That's strange. Yeah. Or, or, or like funniness. Like if someone cracks a joke. And they know it's a joke and they know not to take it too seriously or... Or one of my favorite things is someone who, this is genuine. Say we're all in a group and someone's telling a story and then someone speaks over that person. If the girl I'm with, like, hears the person speak over and then goes back, like, all right, what were you saying? Like, they're Ooh, really, like, yeah. that, it's like you really care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like, you're empathetic and to people. I think that's really attractive. That's a okay. good trait. That's a, what an interesting example. And I've never thought about it like that, but yes. Yeah. What's that analogy or metaphor or whatever where it's like um, you can base the success of a relationship on whether you're both down to look at the bird or something? Have you seen That's that? What we talked about in our podcast, right? Did we talk about this? I think so. Yeah. Um, it's it's Was essentially, I there? It's essentially <laughs> um, yeah. So if your partner at the beginning of a relationship, if they tell you, oh, look at that bird over there, like you're really in tune to see every little detail in the bird. And eventually you've been together for a while. They're like, look at this bird. A lot of relationships be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Just if your partner sees something magical in something, always look and try to find it as well, or at least acknowledge that they're trying to find that. Yeah. We're fucked. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not. Because I hate birds. I love many things. I love many things. I would choose a mini True. thing over a regular thing. No, it doesn't matter what it is. It, it, mini ketchup, mini sock, mini sneaker, whatever it is. Many things are just elite. A version of something that has a larger version. Yeah. That. And so Just anytime in the wild or anything, Jeremy, I've, I've stolen so many, many things because I just <laughs> need to have it. I'm a little klepto for you many things. You should check things. behind Jared and I's zipper then. And Jeremy finds the magic in little things. For for you. I was yeah, going to say, for were you, were you no, like that that's, before? That's, that's why. Because like, no, no. And many, many things were not important to him then, but they are now because they're important no, to my me. My ex and I both judge the shit out of the same thing. So like, oh. Yeah, that, that could be a problem. I've noticed that I have to be with someone who is similar, can, like has a passion for something that really sees the brightness that I could otherwise find cynical. Yeah. And then I can find the brightness as well. Radiant I don't know if it's positivity a- is like a, a trait that I'm very attracted to. Because I feel sense like for I you. have. That and goth chicks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, goth chicks can be happy and positive. That's the thing. It's yeah. like, it's just, I think I just like the look, you know? Okay. So you want a, a, a soft goth. Yeah. Okay, got it. Wow. Soft goth. Okay, soft, soft goth. Covered. Yeah. Gotta okay. Work on the goth. Oh, Hello. Hello. All right. That's helpful. Yeah. I yeah. think that is helpful. Wait, Zach, so you want someone who's got the same level of cyn- cynicism? Is that a word? No, yeah. I don't. No, the opposite. Actually. Opposite. So you want someone who can pull you out of it. Yeah, I want someone who's really hardworking, um, who is, you know, you know, have you ever heard the quote from Theodore Roosevelt, like the man in the arena? Mm-mm. Yep. Okay. Well, you know, it's a, it's essentially someone who's also in the arena as well. Yep. I think there's different relationships. A lot of, some of them are, um, you know, the, I don't know if it's like the athlete and the cheerleader where it's like somebody's like working hard every day and the other person kind of cheers them on. Mm-hmm. Um, but a lot of times that can. You're looking like, for a cheerleader to. I don't think I'm looking for a cheerleader. And you I think I'm looking for a partner, like a running back. What, okay. And what are you? We're on the same team. I'm quarterback. 
you know, or I'm running back and she's quarterback, but we're on Got the it. same team. Like one of us is not watching the other one from the, the stands. The sidelines. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. really. That makes sense. But does that mean that you want them to be also doing social media in the spotlight? No, not necessarily. It can be anything that they're passionate about. As mm -hmm. long as they're working as hard as I am on what I want to accomplish, they could be knitting yarn all day. But it's if it's like, oh, no, I want to turn this into something crazy and cool. Like I'm super that's so funny that you use the the reference of knitting and yarn. Jeremy, when we first met, used to always say like, oh, I just love people who are passionate about whatever it might be. It could be knitting, yarn. Oh, True. sounds like no, we should have been together. The, the thing. <laughs> Zach? I that's why I didn't go to the, it was just too hard to see you guys <laughs> happy. <laughs> see, he will be party. at the wedding, but he'll be at the back being like, stop the wedding. Oh, no! jerk. Third time's a charm. <laughs> I'm probably just going to get blackout drunk. Yeah, that's, that's just, the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the priest no, was probably trying to hook I up with the, me. I think the thing that I'm, probably most, uh, like it, it takes me and I don't even think about it. It's like when someone's wildly passionate about something they're either already good at or want to be good at and yeah. actually stick to it. And they don't have to be the best at it. But like if, if that's what makes them tick and it's a language that they speak uh, better than other, like better than others, but also like that thing takes them out of themselves. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. Yeah. Oh, it's super attractive when someone starts doing something like um you know they pick up say a sport tennis whatever it is you know that's something i play and they suck at the beginning but they're like no i want to get good at this yeah and, and doesn't discourage them at right. the front they're like i suck at this but i could see myself being good at this and i know how to but then what happens if they don't stick to it that's what turns me off yeah yeah mm. if they're just like eh, people well. who uh, yeah the people who are at um at odds with their own rules that they set for themselves that that shit is and that's actually not like something like, oh, I'm turned off. I just lose interest. Yeah. 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 It's not, I guess it's not a super sexual thing, but definitely like lose interest as far as. Yeah. 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 If you're going to try something, just don't, or, or keep your word. Yeah. If, if even if it's like a, oh, I'll text you at this time to tell you what's going to happen. And it's, it, that time passes. It, keep keep your word. Like when you RCP for something. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't that's know that crazy. was happening. <laughs> but keep, keep your word. Hey, he was supposed to come to the show. <laughs> It was a one for one. Um, but, you know, <laughs> keeping your word in a relationship is just like, hey, I'm going to do this or we're going to go do this tonight. And then you don't tell me and you go do something completely different. I'm like, oh, yeah. That, yeah, that's I don't that care hurts. that you did that. Yeah. Well, just let me know. Like, what page are you on? Yeah. Because not mine. No. <laughs> yeah. Also, you're you both are really responsive. Like there's some people like when I text some friends, like, you know, it's like you get a response in three to four business days. But you guys, <laughs> again, dating profile screen recordings, seconds. Well, that's how I, that's how I prefer to be. If I'm reaching out to someone and it's like, I want them to get back to me, like it doesn't have to be immediately, but feel like they care. But like, yeah, like relatively yeah. soon. You yeah. know? It's length. also showing yeah. someone respect. It's like, yeah. oh, you asked for something for me. Why would I like just put it off until you have to remind me again? That just seems very um, disrespectful. Disrespectful. Yeah. Zach, do you somebody say to Remy? <gasps> Remy, I was thinking about this. If we were ever to get physical. Okay. Um, okay, so she does have a boyfriend of, of like many years. many years, super long amount of years. Remy, use this in the bedroom with your boyfriend. <laughs> um, I'm sure you already have, but one of you's got to say like, Presumptive. pull my hair like Remy, you dirty rat or something oh. like that. Because your name is Remy and then the rat's name and then sexual innuendo pulling hair. And then also the same thing of, man, is, I, is this a good time to end the podcast? Maybe? Man, I, I wish more than anything start that, the podcast. that somebody else <laughs> besides us was ever going to hear that part. Um, <laughs> got it. I'm going to see you guys at the same table at the wedding. Please, oh, I'll, I'll sit right next door. I'm sorry, we we'll, him we'll back bring on. our podcast if, if equipment. Jared, if Jared allows you to be his plus one, do you want to bring um, what's your name? I'll bring you just for this moment. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys work on the New York show. We New York, are, uh, New July York, twenty seven. If you're not I, there, I'll I'll take your mother's teeth and I'll put her on the just, curb and I'll put my boot right in the back of her head as hard we'll, as I we'll can. Get curb stop. We'll get to threatening later. Let's. I would like to ask oh, just a, a short synopsis of what people might expect at a live show. Um, uh, talking and jokes and laughs and, and us making money. And, uh, you guys, you're really really selling I mean, this. I thought I was really sold before, but this. now after hearing yeah. that. Well, we did our live show in LA. We were thankful enough to sell it out because of you. We would have never done it without you. I know, without that ticket. But well. we spent all our money on prizes for them. Mm -hmm. So yep. we didn't really make any money, actually. But, mm -hmm. it's but next if, you, one. if you come, you can get some prizes. What kind of prizes? Um, we That's gave a good away. Question. Last time we gave away an Xbox, uh, a couple switches, a couple some switches, some beef, 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 You're basically bribing people to 100%, show up. Yeah, 100%. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. my mom's going to be, my dad was at that show because I, I wanted to. 
him to assume I was successful. And right. Once people got the prizes, they headed out. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, we play a lot of fun games. Like I can't say that one because that's very offensive. But it, you can watch it there live. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was good. I yeah. Like that. Okay. And you guys have any guests? Any podcast guests in your York show? Or well, um, we might. We reached out to Ashley Gavin to open. Uh huh. Um, we'll see if she does. Anybody else? Anybody else? Matt Rafe might. Okay. Open. Yep, that's no, I'm just kidding. Any, 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 uh, uh, anybody else? That you're do you guys about? want to be um, in New York on July 27th? No, we don't. Not at all, actually. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, we we hadn't announced our special guest yet. It's yeah. It was gonna yeah. be you guys. It was gonna be just me. That's actually. awkward. Now. I was gonna do my first day. We were gonna ask. me and Dickie. Uh, it's fine. Okay. Um, well, uh, that's gonna be a link somewhere. Um, no, link. Go check it out. Link it three times. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, would it be possible? So, it, it, is it safe for anyone to slide into those DMs if they thought one of those dating profiles was um was interesting? Yes, but only DM the other person okay. about the other person. Like, hey, can you set me up with Jared? Oh, and I, then there, the a intro. Great yeah. That's a great idea. Except for idea. that makes me nervous, though, for like Zach filtering through for you. Oh, no. I know. You know? That, babe, this is what we do as male friends. We, we got to trust the other person. Yeah. And we just got to go, I don't know. Go I don't with trust God. Jared. You don't trust me? Uh, I don't, looks in, I, in this podcast in life, I'll throw some, I'll throw some ha ha's around, but. Man, am I, I'm solid. Well, to the thanks center. for coming on the podcast, guys. That <laughs> this was, has that been, was been great. great. Yeah, yeah. Um, you guys can like, subscribe, and follow all the things Wait, over I thought we were not recording yet. We aren't. Uh, this we're is not. just, I want to get you guys out of yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's it's been fair. good to see you guys. Thanks for getting okay. all of the fur off of Diggy. Oh, you're so welcome. Exactly. Right. Okay. To end the podcast, out? everybody's going to say their favorite slur on three. <laughs> One, two, three. And that's when the and podcast cuts. Yeah, bye. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>